Can you give us a Who is the patients? Is, is it the people uh, patients, in the head of the no. patients' organizations yeah. who are thinking and structured? Is it the patient I meet? Because we just made some small check-up in, in four practice. And what do patients want? They want to can come to the doctor as soon as possible when they are acutely ill. They want the doctor is listening to them, and then it's okay if you push them to also. I, I have to come to him, but I'm very, very meet him, and he has to listen. That's the two things they always want. It's always on the top. And, 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 and the rest, is stimulizing yeah, I, I don't say it doesn't matter, but it's, in the end, it's, it's not that important. It's, it's not their choice. It's not the, the way they choose. No. No. And there was also the, the brink said also the, the, the results of the court theory were on the internet. It wasn't the patient was looking for it. Yeah. But the patient organizations are dealing with insurance companies based on these kind of information. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because yeah. think about it, what are the people at the top of the patient organization? Yeah, but that's a discussion you can't have. No, 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 no. I can only think it's... Yes. And I mean, the idea of a, of a certification is that you don't provide information on or, or transfer or publicly reporting on every single indicator. The idea of a certification is yes. that it is summed up in a certificate <coughs> an independent body states this practice is safe and it's a, a good practice. Yeah. That's why we for this then Maybe uh, I just want to bring in an idea because you have the problem in setting up such a certificate. We have it more or less. The Swiss have it. They have an own foundation, Equal, who was also working with. And we are all in all countries too weak actually. Maybe we should go towards a European uh, quality yeah. seal or something like that, uh, uh, which gives us more power, power and, more and also maybe in our countries more power because we say this is a European collaboration and we take care that the, there are certain standards set and, the, and, and all the organizations who, who give it this seal, this quality seal to a practice, they follow this uh, standard. Yeah, interesting what would, be, what would be, be the difference between that and an, and an ISCO accreditation? Yeah, that's, it's not an ISCO accreditation, it's an equip accreditation or whatever, or yeah, yeah, whatever but, uh, we would call it. Uh, so, something which is already there. Yeah, they didn't choose for ISCA, but I don't know why anymore. Uh, ISCA, is, ISCA is accrediting the accreditators. Yeah. 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 The, back to what we had before, I think we should be cautious with respect to saying that's only something that government wants, or that's something the patient organization wants. Patients don't want it. Mm. I think at the end of the day, in a democratic society, those organizations, they represent things that are going on in this society. So I think we should be quite loyal to, to the messages that we get from these official bodies, whether they are patient organizations, governments, or health insurance uh, boards, or whatever it is. I think we should take care. Yes, because yeah, the transparency projects, there, there are all these parties, that are in the transparency projects asking for indicated measurements of transparency. Mm -hmm. And so the thought was that if you can say, well, that is incorporated in the certificate, you are ready at one time. You do it once, and then you can uh, give the measurements, in the same measurements that you can use for these organizations. Oh, yes, because we have those demands from the other My parties. point is that we as a profession, especially as single professions, professionals, have a tendency to say, well, this is rubbish, this is rubbish. My patients, they are more clever. But when they go and vote, when they go and elect their patient organizations, it's a process which says to these governments, organizations, insurance boards, we want this. So I think we should be sensible for the messages that we hear in our countries from these yeah, from these bodies. Yeah. But, but in Denmark it's quite clear, you know, we have the uh, ICAS and uh, it's a government decision that uh, all healthcare should be accredited. Yeah. So 
there's a clear political and there's no political opposition to that. And uh, so I, I, there's, a, there's a clear political statement and uh, the, we have only one option in Denmark and that is to try to make that as uh, easy on the GPs in the start and, and as sensible as possible because we cannot avoid it. Exactly. Uh, and that's what also PLO is, is very reluctantly uh, going into so that's really not in our, or in our country it's not a case. I, I, I don't know whether you always have this discussion is this person has different hats on. He has a hat on as a person in relation to his uh, GP, he has a hat on as a, a part of the public, he has a part, he has a, a hat on as a taxpayer who wants the best from, and, and uh, all these hats will not fit on the head at the same time, but anyway, we are all ha we are all wearing these hats also when we are patients at a GP paying our tax and voting, we're voting as well. And I definitely want the hospitals to be accredited, not in a bad way, but I really want them to look at their, at their uh, I want them to look at their quality. I also want the physiotherapists to, to and the uh, social uh, and the social people to document their quality and be more uh, and be more research oriented. I want that. And if I if somebody is going to put that into policy, I'll vote for it. Yes. And if I see the accreditation process in my own practice brought as improvement, like you say uh, yesterday show, and I think yeah, we owe it to the, uh, to ourselves and to the public to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, and if this process can help uh, with it. We must do it, and we must endorse it. I'm, I'm pretty but, sure about that. But I also think that, and one thing that I would like to ask you is, how, how well are you uh, are you investigating this uh, progress of this? Because this is really also something. Because if it's a waste of space, waste of money, waste of time, then we should change it or need it, and we should do what we're doing. Yeah. And that's very very. And I think we should try to stick to that every time we spend money. How to value it? Yeah. I was wondering what the minister said about the, the way what the patient wants. We talked about yesterday you, the, the GP was, or the, the general practice was divided into two parts one which is caring for the individual patient and one which is caring for the community. For example, all our immunization programs and all these uh, things that we are also part of that are something we do for the population in general. And it, it was in the heated debate yesterday, it was argued that we should not forget the individual patient when we are working for the public health. But in way, some way you can say that this accreditation is very much focused on the public health. I mean, every patient feels the same pain when they are inoculated. They can't feel that the vaccine doesn't function. So, so the thing about the, the, that our refrigerators are in place is something that we do for the, for the public health. So perhaps we should make this more visible to our colleagues that, that we have a part to play in the public health of the community and in order to fulfill this in a, in a, in a kind of a general responsibility. Yeah. Yes, yes. Then, then this, this makes more sense perhaps because I think that most people feel, feel very comfortable in their daily dealings with the patient. We know what they need. They know. We, we have they a have very small we shop. I often yes. say, well, they're small. But we're not simply a small shop. We're also yeah. having this more yeah. broad uh, yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think in, uh, in Denmark, with the overall idea about ITS is wrong, uh, because it has the idea that uh, if they actually save all the health services, then they have a low problem with cross sector problems, uh, and uh, that's a silly way to, to, yeah. to do it. And they have, uh, they have the control, we, we saw it uh, yesterday, about if we have the bad apples, then uh, we can go forward uh, in, in, in the health system, if we actually take all, all the, all the health uh, workers. Uh, and and that, that's a silly, and that's a, a, a wrong way to do it. But, but I think they move also, they also move, but it's a huge organization to move. Yeah. It's independent and it's uh, paid by, by, by the central money. It, 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 it wasn't, it's not my, I, I, I wouldn't have organized it in that way either if I should choose. But now this is what we've got. And I think that when they have accredited the hospitals once, 
and they are trying to, they are finding out what problems they have, and they are also moving in directions so to make their accreditation schemes better. And they, when they're trying, they're, they're not, they've not yet accredited any of the other parties. But when they have, then, I, I mean, this is not a first round effect, but it may be a round, a, a, an effect that may come, if you work on it, it mm -hmm. may come further on. And just say to the people in IBIS all the time, this is a good goal, uh, try to accreditate the whole of the healthcare system uh, in the same institute and try to look at the pathways also in your standards and in the way you're working in it from both sides and then later on find ways to improve this and find the places and, and make, use the accreditation system to try to pinpoint, to help pinpoint the, the problematic spots. I don't think that's uh, that's uh, uh, it's not something which will happen automatically, but just by uh, roll out an accreditation system, but by working with it and by working into it. And here, like when we discussed yesterday, by going into with the regions and say, okay, let's throw some of your uh, your uh, uh, resources that you're using sparsely all over. Let's try to. We focus them on the things that we are we're seeing here, then we may get something more better and more focused. But yeah. only if we work for it. But yesterday we were talking earlier. Oh, yeah, and and yeah. yesterday I had a question. My, my comment was that we in Czech Republic are well, in a good way and we, we have built it, piloted accreditation procedures well. We considered practices last year and we hope to start full process in this autumn. But what was the main motivation for our society was that the bodies accredit who accredited hospitals start to operate in primary care. Mm -hmm. And they, they, have a, they have offers, especially from the uh, practices bought by chains, for example. So they, they, they were interested in, in quality measures to prove that they are good as the traditional practitioners are. So then we had to react as a society. So we, we organized the, we, we uh, established the legal body as you did. Well, I, in reaction of that and what you were saying, we were discussing the uh, use of the visit yesterday. And I can assure that in Holland the visit is something extra because you can also have a look at the unmeasurable things. Mm -hmm. I, we had uh, well, once an author and she came back and said, well, I don't know if you can give this accreditation to this practice because they are all whispering all day because right. the uh, sound is so badly regulated in the building that the doctor has to talk about this because otherwise the people hear. But you can measure this <laughs> in a paper. <laughs> And the other practices, the, tea, the doctors aren't talking to each other because they have a quarrel. But you can't see this in the questionnaires, of course. But that will be a big uh, luck for improvement uh, event because yeah. if you're not efficient as a team, uh, you will never improve in the practice. That's the interesting thing about the maturity matrix mm -hmm. of yeah. 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 bringing that in, in, yeah. in, in this type of mm -hmm. improvement. Basically. And I think collaboration uh, between uh, hospitals and general practices, there's a lot of communication aspects uh, that you can't find out with the very measurable things. Mm -hmm. And I think the hospital, as we have now technician in the independent department, so he is used to standards with instrument, etc. But, well, we don't uh, meet each other. We say, well, it's something like, uh, 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 it's over the day for one day, who cares? But he is in, from the cars in the street, for instance, and he, is caring. Uh, I said when I go to the shop and the date of the rice is one day after, of course you can eat it, but it's, we don't meet each other there, but that's very measurable. Mm -hmm. And the communication and the teamwork, etc., I think that's at least as important to work on as are all the uh, minimal requirements that are mm -hmm. measurable.